Hey guys, Munchies here, and today we're going to talk about Final Fantasy VII Rebirth and some takeaways that I got from playing the demo specifically. Um, there were some quality of life changes and some things that they added to the combat and some things that they kept the same. So let's get into it. So the demo is, I think they picked a really good portion of it to uh, allow people to play. So the demo is you, you're playing through a um, story where Cloud is telling a story of his experience with Sephiroth. Immediately off the rip, you're met with like this... I, I think it's fan service, but I'm not complaining about it at all. I actually think it's great. Uh, a lot of this game is uh, geared towards fans, I feel like. And you don't have to be a huge fan to appreciate it because the gameplay is pretty solid in itself. But you get to play as Sephiroth like right at the get-go. And it's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, one of the best characters ever made, in my opinion. So the first thing I noticed was that they added a more interactive like dodge roll button or like you can kind of like jump over things uh, actually in the town when you first get in there and you kind of like start exploring a little bit. Um, you see a kid hop over a fence and that's one of the new functions that you can do. So as you can see, he jumps over the fence and that is something that you can do. So the next thing is the UI. They kept the UI fairly similar. They just kind of made it. Uh, cleaner and nicer they kind of got rid of like the portraits and they just put the characters in display but for the most part the main menu ui is pretty much the same uh the weapons inventory armor all that it's it's all pretty cookie cutter and clean cut and there wasn't really anything wrong with it i couldn't complain about it so it's a uh, solid thing so why fix it if it ain't broken right and next on the list is the piano. This has been extremely popular amongst a lot of people. I am terrible at it, but if you are a huge musically inclined person or if you want to put practice into it, uh, it is kind of awesome. You can pretty much play anything you want as long as you, uh, I guess, understand music. But for the most part, the sheet music that they give you to play, it's kind of like a mini game. But yeah, I'm terrible at it, but it is a pretty cool system. And one of the things that I am super like, used for was they there's a lot of side characters in the uh, original game and they kind of went more in depth with these characters when they had made the first remake and now they're kind of continuing with that trend uh zangan for example is one of the characters that are a side character like they're not really like a one of your main storyline characters but they kind of give these characters personas and kind of give them like uh, a personality rather and it's kind of refreshing and it's an awesome thing to always know that these were like intended to be in the story so two quality ally changes in the combat that i noticed was they moved the commands from the top left down to the bottom left so if you're still learning or whatever it's easier to look at it <clears throat> you don't have to look all the way to the top left it's straight on the left side and it's more condensed easier to see and it's a good change i like it so the other one is the minimap also. So in the first remake, there was like a line on the top of your screen. If you've ever played like Skyrim, it's a little similar to that. Um, but yeah, they give you the rotating minimap system now, which is kind of cool because you can see kind of like a layout of the map. Uh, I don't know if you can zoom in and out of it or not, but uh, if you want to look at more of the map, you can also touch the touchpad button on your controller and it'll still bring up the map like it did in the last game. Another thing they added are the synergy abilities. So this is a combo attack. So I guess they're, I don't know if they're scenario unlocked or whatnot. So we'll have to see as we play more of the game. But uh, yeah, it is pretty awesome. And you do an attack with two of the characters on your team. And it's pretty cool. So yeah, that's pretty much what I got from playing the first portion of it. Um, the next portion of it, I think just came out today. And I'll probably be playing that later tonight. But uh yeah, they pretty much kind of kept the cookie cutter of what the first game was in terms of combat and just added some quality of life in there and maybe like one or two new systems. I have no idea what else they are going to add. Uh, there's definitely going to be more characters, so there's going to be more different types of combat styles and whatnot. But uh, yeah, for the most part, I'm very excited for this game. It's one of my favorite series of all time. Uh, ever since I was a kid. So yeah, hopefully you guys are as excited about this game as I am. Uh, I am counting down the days. So hopefully I see, I'll see some of you guys enjoying this as well. But uh, yeah, if you made it this far, thanks for watching and listening. And uh, as always, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, or anything like that, leave it in the comment section below. 
and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.